My wheat's got LSD in it. Morning, you join me from the grain shed currently and I'm standing in front of the wheat. And we have some psychedelics in the wheat. So I've just picked a few bits out there and you can see them, those dark, darker looking grains. So these darker looking grains here is ergot. And ergot is a real pain in the ass because basically this wheat can't be sold for milling because it's got these bits of ergot into it and it's um, well, ergot is a fungus and effectively it's poisonous, it's a psychedelic, uh, it restricts all your blood flow, it makes you go mad and you can't ingest it. So it's a real pain and I don't know why it's come in this year because it's been quite moist and, when the, and rainy and when the flower of the wheat is yes wheat does flower to show you a little picture here when wheat flowers the fungus the ergot fungus can get into the ears on the heads of the wheat and then infect them and so what i showed you that little piece there that was actually in an affected little grain of wheat so these two little bits these ergot um, it normally affects rye cereal rye crop because rye has quite a long flowering period and that makes it more susceptible to infections of ergot. We've got it in the wheat this year. It's often quite um, prevalent in spring wheat crops. Um, we seem to have it this year. Anyway, yeah, so I said it makes you go a little bit mad and a little bit crazy. Uh, about a few hundred years ago, when we believed that witches were around, um, especially in Salem, we, through the ingestion of this, we thought that people were witches because they went mad through ingesting this in rye bread and they were burnt at the stake. Nowadays, we don't believe in witches <laughs> and we get rid of this. Um, and I'll show you how we get rid of the ergot now out of our wheat crop. Now we've got what's called a colour sorter in. I'm trying to talk now because it's just switching off just to do a clean. But effectively we have an intake up here to get rid of all the dust. And then it comes up down here and then it comes down these. And this is the colour sorter here, sataki. Um, any dirty stuff is coming on the ergot, it's coming out of here into this trailer. I'll just show you that in a minute. And then as you just saw in the previous video, the other side, the intake pit, is where all the clean wheat is going. So this is the outflow. You see all the bits of air got in there. Huge bits of wheat. Just shut the elevator off temporarily. Uh, but this is now the clean wheat it's coming out of there into this pile we've done about 70 something tons now nice and clean so I briefly spoke to the chap that runs the colour sorter um, from CYO he obviously deals a lot with ergot and he thinks particularly that the reduction of the use of seed treatments is a big cause of ergot and especially growing a lot of spring wheat, um, which is a bit annoying and it's something I have heard before. And he says spe uh, specifically using a seed treatment with an azole in, so something like tebuconazole or prothioconazole. Um, metconazole, I mean the bloody loads, um, can help with that. Which I don't really want to do. I think we just had quite a wet May, June, uh, which has contributed it to. So we finished cleaning all the wheat. It was about 600 tonnes in total. Uh, it's cost £13 a tonne, which 
it's fairly considerable, but some of it was a little bit bad. Um, but that's good now because it was costing us £17 a ton if we took it to somewhere and it had to be cleaned. Um, so that's a bit of a saving there. Um, it also means that wheat can now be sold for milling, uh, which is about £50 a ton premium at the moment. It won't be downgraded to feed wheat uh, for animals. So that's really good, definitely worth doing. Uh, it means we've got a good bit of cleaned seed as well now to use for uh, in the in the coming autumn to use as home safe seeds. So that's good. Cheers.